7.38. Now, has organic food had its day? As the recession squeezes wallets, it seems shoppers have been opting for cheaper produce. Yes, organic food sales fell 13% last year. Now the EU has stumped up £2 million to promote the industry. But is organic food worth that premium? Here's what shoppers in Cardiff had to say. I don't eat my, my child organic food as long as I know where it's come from. Um, and I don't eat cheap food, but I think organic puts, is a license to print a little bit more money personally. Well, I've always uh, had that kind of thing. I've never um, gone for anything that's been interfered with, you know, where they put something in it. Uh, and, you know, I think, you know, I, I'll stick to what I've had all my life. We bought a few things that were organic. I can't remember what they were now, but um, otherwise, no, we just buy what's about, you know. As long as it looks fresh and what have you. I just tend to go for whatever's cheaper and easier because, uh, yeah, I've just been a student, so I'd rather just eat whatever's available at the cheapest. Don't really know the difference, to be honest. I'm not that much aware. Well, with us now are vegetable grower Vernon Mascarenas and Hugh Bowles, chairman of the Organic Trade Board. Um, now, very good morning to you both. Hugh, I know that uh, the EU has approved uh, funding, a couple of million pounds, to promote organic food. You've put in uh, a million pounds, a million yeah. pounds and, and that's been matched. To promote organic food, but as we were listening to there, people might want to buy organic, but it's incredibly expensive, and much more expensive than than non-organic food and what is the justification for that? Well in, in some cases yes it is more expensive mm. but many cases it's not actually. Um, you can find um, some products for example organic milk at the moment is, is the same price as, as non-organic milk in, in certain supermarkets um, and again if you compare own label organic products with branded alternatives, um, coffee, bread, um, cereals, things like that, breakfast items, and um, they're pretty the, much the if same you go price. If the fruit and veg yep. produce, though, um, you're very often Absolutely. fruit and I mean, avocado is twice as much if yep. they're organic than if yep. they're non-organic. And what is what is the explanation for that? Well, the reason is because obviously you've got lower yields because they're not being uh, forced with fertilizers and pesticides and things like that. So, um, in order to give the organic farmers the same amount of revenue and profit. Um, you have to that, make it up in the cost yes, price. Yes, in, and, and, the, and the our, challenge, our challenge is to get across um, what, ex, what the extra benefits are for the um, extra money that consumers are spending. Okay. Now Vernon, you, you grow and supply fruit and veg. I do, yes. And uh, where are you on organic? Are, are you going to go organic? Do you think? Absolutely this? not. No, we, um, we are conventional growers. And, and I believe that if you practice good husbandry, you look after your crops. And for me, the key is to harvest the crop and get it to the consumer as quick as you can. So the benefit is actually consuming the produce, the fruit and veg, as soon as it's been harvested. Let me ask you this. If it were a level, level playing field, excuse the pun, but if you were able to produce organic food for the same price as you can now, would you do it? No, I don't, I don't believe it has any be, um, benefits. Okay. So you think it's completely... Like I don't think I haven't read any or seen any um, information that would make me change. Well, uh, so Hugh, I know you were about to um, s explain that this money is going to be used, presumably, to explain the benefits. Yes, absolutely. But what are the benefits? Um, well, they sort of generally fall in three three areas: health, um, environment, and animal welfare. Um, and okay, the Food Standards Agency produced a report last year saying claiming, there were no health benefits. Claiming that we we are we were puzzled by that, and we're still trying to get to the bottom of their findings. And it, that is contrary, actually, to um, research in many other countries. France, for example, came out pretty much immediately afterwards and, and said that there definitely were benefits of organic food. Well, how are you going to claim that there are benefits when our own Food Standards Agency has said that the health benefits claim doesn't stand up? Well, we are, we are investigating that report and going through the findings um, because, it, it, as we say, we are perplexed as to how they came to that conclusion when many of the underlying reports that they looked at did show differences in nutrition. Uh, uh, milk, for example, there are high levels of omega-3 in organic milk than, than non-organic milk and, and many other nutrients in, okay. in vegetables. Presumably, Vernon, given that you say that you, you want to produce good food, mm -hmm. good husbandry or whatever, there is some of this debate that does interest you. I mean, people who are interested in organic food are often interested in exactly what you're talking about, how well something is made, how, what the Absolutely. procedure that goes into it is. Sure, sure, but I, I can't understand why we will fly blueberries from Chile just because they're organic to eat in December. What I want to encourage is people to eat seasonally 
and eat locally. That's, the, that, that's my main um, interest. And Hugh, can I just ask finally, the, the, what's this money going to spend on? How are you going to go about persuading people? Uh, it's a combination of things. There will be some um, magazine advertising. Um, there'll be um, sort of promotional activity. Um, and also, um, we'll be trying to sort of get consumers to talk to other consumers, that, consumers that are buying organic, and tell their story about what, why they buy organic. And Vernon, do you, does that concern you, that money is coming into a big campaign to persuade people to buy organic food? Uh, certainly at this time. I would like to, in, in, in the crisis that we're going through at the moment, I would like to see that money... Uh, spent more in encouraging people to eat seasonally and eat locally. Yeah. Okay. Can I just say on that that from the same fund, the UK Fruit and Veg um, Organisation has got also money to promote fruit and veg in general. So this isn't exclusively organic. Okay. And and I would support eating That's fresh. Well. All yeah. right. Okay. Hugh Bowles um, from the Organic Trade Board and uh, Vernon Mascarenas. Thanks very much indeed. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, yeah. Let us know your experiences if you r routinely buy organic food or maybe don't because of the prices. Do let us know this morning. We'll try and pick up on some of those emails as they come in. Time now, 7.44.